Hey everybody, Trisha Helton here, your consultant. I am jumping on here to show you a wonderful recipe for our fresh, for our fresh salsa made right in our uh, manual food processor, one of my favorite power tools um, for my kitchen. Okay, if you're not familiar with the manual food processor, one thing that I always tell people at my shows is that it's like the big brother um, to the food chopper, okay? Food chopper's been around for a super long time. It is wonderful. Um, I don't know what I would do without it in my kitchen. But one thing that the manual food processor, it does everything that the food chopper does, but it's like a step above. It also will cut up and mix things at the same time. So it's perfect for your salsas, for your guacamole, your ham salad, or your um, tuna salad and ham salad. And also it's great for like a smoothie, um, or even you could... Um, process dry ingredients too, like crackers and cookies and croutons and things like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started and make this really simple, easy recipe. Um, the blades do come out, and here's your bowl right here. It's three pieces, and then the lid, which is also the handle to process um, the blades. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to throw our ingredients in there. I'm going to add um, about half of a red onion or a small onion. If you have a regular onion, it doesn't matter. I just kind of like um, the red onions better. We're just going to keep them into chunks, and we're just going to drop them right into um, our processor. Okay, so they're in there for right now. The next thing I want to add is one jalapeno. Um, I am going to just cut this into chunks, but I want to show you all something, too, um, in case you don't like whatever you're making to be hot. Because whether you know or you don't know, if you keep the seeds um, from the jalapeno in your recipe, it is going to make it hotter and spicier, okay, which we like in my house. But for this particular recipe, if you don't like that, a great little tool that you can use is called our Close and Cut. And you can actually just scrape out very easily all those little seeds and that stem in there. Um, that is something I do if we're making like jalapeno poppers. I'll do that. But like I said, with this recipe, we like it spicy. So I'm going to keep those seeds in there. Okay, so the next thing I want to add is we want to add um, two things of garlic. Okay, these are little cloves. If you don't know this, the bigger thing that's all together like that with a bunch of cloves in it is called a bulb. That's how you typically buy fresh garlic. So when you pull... Um, these little guys off, these are the cloves, okay? Just FYI in case you didn't know that. Now, I love to cook with fresh garlic. I love how it makes my um, food and my meals taste. Um, but I don't want something hard and complicated to get fresh garlic. And believe it or not, if you even buy minced garlic in a jar, it doesn't taste quite the same as good old fresh garlic. So, the best way and the easiest way to get that fresh garlic out is with our garlic press. I'm going to leave the peeling on it, drop it down right into the garlic press, and just shoot it. All my fresh garlic's going to fall out of there um, right into my manual food processor. Now the garlic that stays stuck in there, you can either take a knife or you can take the little tool that comes with it and just scrape off that garlic right into the thing. All your skins and peelings are on the inside and you just scoop them out and you can... Um, Maybe throw them away, right? Okay, so we're going to do another one. And by the way, this was my very first favorite Paper Chef product I had. Because when we were first married and I wanted to cook with fresh garlic. And I got this and it was so easy and um, wonderful to use and have that fresh garlic in our, in our meals. Okay? So I want to add a little bit of salt. Okay, and then um, we want to press, I'm going to press one whole lemon um, right into my manual food processor to get some juice in there. Um, with my lemon, we're just going to cut it in half, and I'm going to actually use my citrus press. It kind of works in the same concept of the garlic press, okay? One thing you will need to remember is that the inside goes down towards the holes, okay? And you'll see why. So when you press it, all that nice juice just comes right out um, from the citrus press. Any seeds in there, it's going to catch it. So you can see there's a few little seeds down in there. Okay. So, and it really squishes out everything um, from your lime or your lemon or whatever you're doing. Okay, I want to do one more. Let 
okay? And then that's in there. And then I want to also add some fresh cilantro. So we just got about uh, a half a cup of loose cilantro. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on there and lift up the handle and we're just going to process. So a lot of people make it comments that shows. They think it's pretty cool that you don't have to plug it in. You know, that's pretty nice. You can take it anywhere. Um, the more you process, pump the handle, the finer your ingredients are going to be. So if you like, for example, your salsa to be coarse, you won't want to process it as much. Around here, I like it a little more fine, so, you know, the smaller it is, the better for us. So. Okay, so you'll see how nice and wonderful all my ingredients are all nice and chopped up right in there, okay? So the last ingredient that we're going to add is some tomatoes. Um, now you can use your grape or um, cherry tomatoes, cut them up, put them in here, that's fine. I just happen to grab some tomatoes off the vine. If you have tomatoes from your garden, if it's that type of season, that's okay too. You just have about two cups, okay? So I'm going to put half of it in here first and process that, and then I'm going to add the other half in there, okay? So just so it doesn't get quite too full for me, okay? what it looks like so far. We're going to add the rest of the tomatoes. Again, if you like your salsa very tomato-y, add another little bit, about a cup more of tomatoes, okay, which I might do as well. Okay, so voila! There is our wonderful, beautiful, fresh tomato salsa. Um, you can go ahead and serve this with fajitas, with tacos, just plain with chips. Um, something else we like to do with ours is add it to eggs when we cook it. Just give it that little bit of um, zesty taste to it sometimes if you're making like scrambled eggs. Also too, what's cool about our manual food processor, you know the blades come out. I showed you that in the beginning of the video. Um, but if you have leftovers, you know, and you you know, typically you'd put this in another bowl, put a lid on it, put it in the fridge. And um, we do have a lid that you can get separately with our manual food processor. And you can just put it on like that and put it right into the fridge. Okay. The last thing I want to say about the manual food processor is to clean it. Um, the blade and the bowl right down here, these are dishwasher safe. Okay, you can definitely put those in your dishwasher. This you just want to hand wipe down. You don't even want to submerge it into your dishwater because the gear, it'll get in there into the gears or whatever. So as soon as you're done, I recommend you just wipe it off, clean it up, and then you're good to go. Okay? So I'm ready to have some fresh salsa with my dinner this evening. So let me know your comments. Thanks so much. Bye.